Well, guys, that went in pretty smooth. We don't always get them in that quick. Uh, I definitely recommend throwing some tape on the frame. If you don't do that, you can scratch up the powder coat. We were extremely careful, though, and it looked like it went in all right. this stage it's okay to actually snug these up slightly but do not over tighten them yet do not torque them leave them a little bit loose this allows you to actually slide your swing arm in a little easier it's going to keep this with a little bit of play here and when you go to slide your swing arm in it'll actually go right in another tip when installing your motor pull your coolant pipe off right here this actually gives you a bit more clearance and another thing too is your case saver you'll notice that it'll actually hit the frame as you're sliding the motor in So now we're going to install some bearings. Make sure your linkage is fully cleaned up, ready to go. Make sure there's no burrs. I like to take a deburring burring tool and actually go around the edges. A little bit of grease. We use Maxima. We actually keep this in stock if anybody's interested. Gonna use a standard vise here. I like to take a beater socket, nothing uh, too fancy, just an old husky socket. Try to get the same size as the bearing, just slightly smaller so it will actually slide in. Just do the same thing. Can you come over here and tighten this? Always helps having a second set of hands. Guys, these are cageless bearings, so be really careful. These will fall out. Take a decent amount of grease, pack it in there. Now that it's apart, it's always good to make sure there's enough grease. It's gonna last. We don't want these to dry out. Of course, they do come grease, but or always add a little extra. Make sure you got the right seal. Fits nice and snug on there. Just typically go right in just by pushing on them. Again, that was the reason for deep burrowing the edge too. If you don't do that, you will catch the edge of your seal and rip it. Really careful sliding that in, make sure the needles aren't going to fall out. Right there, cut the seal. We're good. Okay. 
but it moves nice, feels good. Like I said, very, very simple. So the regular vice. Guys, you're gonna install your thrust washers. See how I put some grease on there. You can see the order I'm putting them in. Now's a good time to pack some grease into your bearings. stage of putting the final bolt that attaches the swing arm to the linkage. Try to line your hole up the best you can. There's a little cutout on the side of the swing arm as you can see where you slide it in. Now when you get it to that point, you actually want to hold your nut up there. That's not good. So now you can see the clearance we have here. Now you're gonna go in here with a wrench and you're gonna snug this up. Now you're gonna use OEM torque specs on all of your linkage bolts and your pivot bolt. We just have everything rested in there right now. Just check the movement. Make sure everything feels good and there's no binding. Make sure your bearings were installed correctly. Now it's time to press the steering stone to the triple clamps. Go until you feel it stop. Once it gets to that point, don't go any farther. You will break something if you do that. There's a little ring on the bottom of the uh, stem that can snap off. And again, we press these for you so you don't actually have to do this. So that's how easy it is. All right, back over to the press. Now you want to make sure to install your steering stop bolts. We have these set up so if you do get into crashes, we'll just break right off. And just simply replace them. They're not damaging uh, your frame or your triple clamp or anything like that.
enjoyed this video. It's a pretty simple uh, process. I try to break it down as simple as I can. If you have any questions about what we did, put it in the comments below. In the next video of the YZ450F, we're going to be rebuilding your shock, rebuilding the forks. I'm actually going to install those and show you guys how we do all that. We're also going to do some more uh, install of the chassis, like the axle and the hubs and getting our front hub installed and all that. Keep an eye out for it. If you like these videos, give us a thumbs up. It, it really does help push the videos. If you can, uh, subscribe to us. Hit the bell so you get notifications. If you have any questions, uh, give us a call, 518-563-3699. This trick will be for sale. You can go to our website, bbctricks.com. Thanks guys, appreciate it.